I'm like the Valley Girl. I live in Silicon Valley, the heart of innovative technology. I know where all these awesome companies are, but how the heck did they get here? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm like the Valley Girl. What do you do? Whoa! I'm in such a state. The state of California, that is. Can you imagine being governor of California? I think it's probably like being CEO of a company, but way bigger. Our next guest might just be the man for the job. He's running for governor and he's just awesome. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Tom Campbell. Hi, Tom. Hi, How Valley are you? Girl. I'm fine. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Welcome. Welcome Thank to our you. set. Thank you. I'm, have, I'm have in a awe seat. Of your set. <laughs> it's singular. I'll pour you. I'll pour you something to drink. So you're running for governor. That's awesome. How's I it am. going? It's going great. Thank you. So now, what is a governor? Uh, the chief executive officer of the state, and the most important thing is to take care of the emergencies, the needs of the state in the immediate, and then also try to make some long-term plans to make our state better. How long-term? I'd say 10 years is a safe estimate. It'll take about 10 years to get us into a system where we're no longer spending the money that uh, we want, but just the money that we have. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to spend more money than we have. No, we can't do that enough. And you have negative bucks. <laughs> and credit cards start calling you up, and yeah, it's, yeah. it gets nasty. Do you have similar problems here on the set of Valley Girl? I do. Spending money that you don't yet have? Yeah, typically on pink things. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So now, what qualities do you think make a good governor? You've got to know a lot about the state. I think it's wise to have spent a lot of time in government, and if you preferably had spent a lot of time in the finance side, because that's our most critical need. Education is huge, too. That's the state's fundamental obligation. So it wouldn't hurt if you'd been a teacher. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like for example, Tom Campbell. Uh, like a teacher for, for uh, 26 years, for example, <laughs> just to choose a round number. <laughs> so financial matters first. Let's make sure we don't spend more than we have. Education, it's the next generation. It's the future. I want to be sure that we have jobs. And yeah, do you think people should have jobs? By all means, they should have jobs. And I think Silicon Valley is, is a tremendous example for the rest of the state. I love Silicon Valley. I mean, I, I'm the Valley girl. And I was the congressman from Silicon Valley for nine years. Wow. And the state senator from Silicon Valley. So we definitely have something in common. Well, totally, we do. Uh, in fact, including the language, I'm learning to speak more and more like a Valley person. What are some of the other problems that um, you think we need to fix here? Water. 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 Oh, you don't. Everybody needs water. You don't un hydrate. exactly. You can't under <laughs> hydrate the school. Yeah, grow crops. You can't run California unless you've got a plan for water. What makes you a good candidate for governor? I spent my whole life as a teacher or in government service. So since I graduated from college, I've either worked in the government um, or I've been a teacher with the exception of one and a half years when I tried to be a lawyer and decided that I wasn't very good at it. So I went At least off. you tried. High I, five for that. Hey, absolutely. Make sure I hit that right. Now, if you become governor, do you have to wear a wig? Like, what no. happened to the wig party? Oh, that's cool. I think that was wig, not wig, but it's a confusion a lot of people make. <laughs> I can't tell you how many historians, you know, can't figure out how come these politicians were, were not wearing wigs all the time. As a governor, do you make all the laws? Because I have, I have a law I would like you to work on. Does it involve the color pink? Yes. I thought it might. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell me the law. Okay, I just have a really big issue with stop signs. One, I don't understand why we have to stop. Two, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they should be pink. It, it at least add a little something yeah. to my stopping. This shows your fiscal conservative nature because going from red to pink is not a huge thing. Yeah, you just yeah. add a little white. And would you put this in priority of everything? I actually, I everything? have a prototype here. You have for a you. prototype. Oh, that is so cool. And you know, you know, it so wouldn't cool. be a bad thing if we added some glitter. Right, get better you attention know. at night particularly. I designed it is it myself. so good that I would uh, copyright it if I were you. Yeah. I'd put a little put C circle Valley Girl right there. That would be good advertising for me in the state of California. I think so. And you would like me to make this top priority uh, if I get to be governor. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I think that would be... More I important think... than education, more important than people who are out of work, more important than water. Um, 
Yeah, I follow you. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it would at least make people happier. I want them to stop and be a little happier about okay, stopping because I know people have decided that stopping is a good idea. <laughs> at stop signs, it is a good idea. Particularly if yeah. there's somebody else coming. <laughs> Thank you for this idea <laughs> and for having brought the prop. I think it's time for a break. <laughs> we'll be back with more fun and Tom Campbell right after this.